Hey Survivors! The first major version update since the global launch of the game is coming soon. We've prepared tons of new content to enrich your combat experience. Check it out now! In version 14.4, we've remade certain hero skills. Newly added movement, wall run. New battle passes have been made easier. Customizations of sensitivity and reversed gyroscope are made available, also upgraded the anti-cheat system. Let's take a quick look at what's all in the new version. First of all, Maggie, our star, will be given a new tactical skill, Tactical Roll. Tactical Roll allows Maggie to reload her ammo while dodging enemies. When used with her jetpack and ultimate, Maggie can move around swiftly. In addition, Duckside's tactical skill has also been remade. When Wrecking Duck Ball is cast, it will increase Duckside's defense and knock back enemies upon hitting them. When used together with his ultimate, Duckside can freely transition between attacking and defending and becoming the tank of your squad. MKR has been given an overhaul in the new version. MKR's tactical skill renders him the ability to protect himself. MKR's ultimate allows him to parachute again so he can lead his teammates to a new strategic location. When used with his passive skill, it becomes easier for him to do recon while parachuting. Descending from the sky and catching your enemies off guard from behind can be a good tactic. We've added the wall jump feature. When used, heroes can run vertically along walls but cannot move left or right during the process. The height limit for climbing walls is about two floors, and the heroes will automatically fall to the ground once they reach this limit. When used together with jetpacks and hero skills, the different strategic and creative 3D moves will be endless. Scout-style passives have been adjusted to enable HP bar observation after aiming the scope at enemies for a certain period of time. Along with new battle passes, a new Maggie SSR skin will also be available. You'll definitely be impressed by Maggie's new futuristic style. Give it a try! Based on the feedback from communities, we've made battle passes less grindy. Battle pass levels have been adjusted to 30. We've also removed all time-limited items for normal and superior battle passes. We hope you're pleased with these changes. A brand new Candelia Vacation Lottery Wheel is also coming soon. Feel the summer breeze along with Lucinda. In the new version, the entire Carnival has been remade. Building complexes of different heights are added to intensify battles even more. When you hit an enemy in battle, they'll automatically be marked as danger. The new fixed sensitivity settings and reverse gyroscope allow you to choose the settings most suitable for you. We've optimized the voice feature. You can easily distinguish between voice chats in the lobby and voices during battle. The voice settings are customizable so that you can adjust the voices of your teammates as well as voice chats during battle. On top of that, the sound of gunshots and footsteps will change according to the proximity of your enemies. We've made optimizations and balance adjustments of different degrees to vehicles. We've adjusted and optimized weapon ballistics, firing methods, and passenger positions. Cheaters will now be flagged in history and replays. Furthermore, we will introduce more severe punishments for violations and optimize the rules for clans during tournaments. Clan members are no longer allowed to leave their clan before tournament results are settled. Dance moves are now available. Four new dance moves have been released. Move to the beat. Weekly and monthly card subscriptions are now available. With a subscription, you'll be able to claim items such as diamonds, room cards, lottery tickets, re-sign-in cards, etc. And even more. Membership privileges will also be activated during battles, giving you exclusive kills broadcast, privilege logos, 
and entry broadcast. Warm-up match is now available. If the estimated matching time is too long, you can enter the warm-up match for a practice solo deathmatch. Additionally, we've also optimized the hero selection screen. After selecting your preferred hero, you can equip them with a cool skin. More customizable settings are provided in custom rooms, such as adjusting deathmatch maps and prize pools, and setting the rules regarding weapons, vehicle placements, and weapon bands. The gameplay choices for custom rooms will be even more diverse. There are more new updates other than those mentioned above. If you want to know more, please check out the official version update announcement for details.